Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're back on Pink and the song is called Family Portrait. Now there's quite a few people who said that this song is a different sound to what the uh, other Pink stuff that I've checked out is like. And I'm really interested to see what that will be like because obviously they've all been in a sort of similar vein like a, like a punky pop or a rocky pop uh, type sound. So everyone said, like I said, this is different. I get a deeper meaning from it. Um, so... Really, really intrigued. Um, without, let's just get straight into it and see exactly what Family Portrait's all about. Wow, Whoa, I think this. I've still got him. Look. Um, what do you say to that? I think, like being a dad myself, that's really, really. Um, that's hit me quite deep in my heart. That at first I thought. The, the child was um, Pink's child in portraying in this video, but that child is Pink because, well, one, they're wearing the same clothes, but she's also got the moles on her face put in the same place as what Pink's got. I've just noticed that when they were talking. Going to the moral of the story, which is the bit that is proper effect to me, I thought, oh, it's a good beat, this. And then it's the, the, the lyrics started, and it's completely, complete. This, to me, says that Pink grew up in um, maybe a, a hostile environment with her parents. Maybe they were arguing about everything. Like I said, sometimes they argue about my brother and sister. Sometimes they argue about this. So they argue about that. And, you know, he's he saying, like, he, the kid. Uh, what what really, really, really hit me in that part um, was the part where the child said, I'm like, I'm sorry, mummy. You know, it's like it's her fault that they're arguing. I'll be better. I can't remember the exact lyric because obviously there's a lot going on and I got totally, totally engrossed in that then and got the goosebumps because that, you know, it really, really affected, you know, I, I've not grown up in a situation like that, but you see people go into care and stuff all the time because of dysfunctional families. And I thought when it was going to be Family Portrait, the, the song was going to be called Family Portrait, I thought it was going to be maybe... Um, some sort of recognition for a family or some sort of you know positive meaning i didn't expect this um i'm talking too much anna um i didn't expect this doom and gloom i didn't expect cause especially from pink cause with the, the the music i've listened to from her it's all upbeat and i don't give a shit blah 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 but then again when you think back if she's had this sort of upbringing um and this sort of family life then maybe the don't give a fuck attitude has come from that. Um, wow. First time in a long time I've been absolutely speechless. And it's... it's <sighs> I'm saying I've been speechless, but I've, I'm not stopped talking. It's really, really affected me a little bit, that. <sighs> Let's go. I'll do anything when it's just like heartbreaking, that. And then you see the perfect family on the telly, don't you? We're having the cereal, having the sunshine, happy smiley faces uh, everywhere on the adverts and stuff. Must be really, really gut wrenching if you are in that situation as a child. Um, I, I know I've got a lot to say on this, but like I say, it's because obviously I'm a dad myself, so um, I would never, never let my child go through that sort of thing. It's. Uh... <sighs> Stop 
That kid is a really, really good actor. Wow. Um, it's not easy growing up in World War Three. she said. Obviously, that's the fighting and stuff. And do you know what I like about this song? <clears throat> in the first verse, um, she's she's focused it all on her mum, uh, saying, like, I'm sorry, mummy, this, that, you know, daddy still loves you, blah, 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 blah. And then in the second verse, she's now talking to her dad because, obviously, there's two sides to every story. And um, she's saying that, Dad, I love you too. And, you know, I don't want to... Anyone to leave or do this, that, and the other, but because the arguments have got so vile and so like argumentative and um, they've escalated, etc., she's saying that I ran away today and stuff. It's this is a fucking deep song. This this is probably the deepest song I've ever listened to, uh, outside of Mike Shinoda doing um, over again about Chester uh, who, who died. I mean, that's pff, wow. Didn't expect, did not expect this from Pink. That's the heartbreaking part, isn't it? The kid singing it. The the, the, the pink, the kid singing it. Um, I'll be better. Making it look like it's her fault. <sighs> wow. Wow. In our family portrait, we look pretty happy. Let's play pretend. Let's act like it comes naturally. I don't want two addresses, I don't want to change my last name, I don't want a stepbrother, I don't want um, daddy to leave, this is fucking, this, you know, and songs don't normally affect me like this, this is, this is brutal, without being brutal, it's, uh, do you know what though, talking about the music, I mean it's just a, a bit of a beat and a bit of a bass, but I mean it's, it's obviously a showcase of Pink's voice, but it's hard to sit there and take it in musically when there's such a powerful message here. Wow. That family on the telly was everything that Pink wanted it to be, but with her own family, that's what it's portraying there. And the fact that then people in the TV pulled her in and then she stood there as had a photo with them is what she actually wanted. Um, what do you say to a song like this? Um, you've completely, completely took me off guard with that one. Um, you said people did say it was more of a meaning, more of a, a darker song, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't warn me because this wouldn't have been a real reaction otherwise. Um, speechless. Speechless, even though I've said so much. <laughs> uh, 
Oh man, feel sorry. If that's happened in her life, I feel very, very sorry for her. Um, and and good on her for for making it the way she is. Makes you look at a person differently when you see a background thing like that. And it's uh, you know, at first you're like, oh yeah, she's she's fun. Her, she's having a laugh. And but obviously, you, everyone has the demons, and everyone has the things that they think back to um, that probably help shape them. And like, kudos to her for for getting through that and uh, being a very, really, really great person. Anyway. He's a lie down after that. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. If you want to support me on Patreon or jo join the Discord, then the uh, the links are in the description. Thanks for watching this. I'll see you on the next one.